an amateur and um, you know sort of start with it has to be obviously previously when you're identifying a model to go down this road i said it before you have one or two options you obviously go at the option with you know a big budget to try and recruit and invest heavily in a senior team maybe at the sacrifice of the underage structures or else you kind of you know take your time and you build slowly and try to produce from within and develop from within and progress from within and that's the model that we're going down we know it'll be more difficult we know it'll be along the road but i think that's the the journey that everybody has embarked on here you know it's not really you know a white horse coming in by the lads promising that we're going to do this that and the other it's going to be you know a long journey a difficult journey at times you know what we're going to do in the right way which is trying to produce our own players give young players from the area and the region an opportunity to progress and excel and hopefully not just play in the senior team here but also go further afield you know and they're the aspirations now that are there here for young people you know i suppose myself personally you know i want young players now in this area in this region to, to believe that they can be playing for the international team in a couple of years time that they can be going out and playing in the premier league in years down the road you know so i feel very passionate about that and that's probably our mission here is to give those players the opportunity to come in at 12 13 14 and develop them right the way through but for sure it's going to be more difficult to compete with clubs in the league that are going to have very big budgets and they're fully professional you know we fully understand that but at this moment in time you know we're going to be taking small steps and trying to develop them um, as the years go by yeah thanks and would there be maybe somewhat of an expectation then or that I don't want to use the word that Kerry FC would be a feeder club, but, but as I say, each year a player who player might be lost to maybe Cork City or up the road to Treaty or somebody, you know, that's a good thing, is it, or, 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 or not? Um, no, I think within our own league, we wouldn't want to be losing their own players to within clubs within our own league. You know, I mean, obviously, further afield, maybe, you know, there's clubs in the UK, or, you know, we see a lot of young players going to Europe now. You know, maybe that's something that the players might aspire to do, but I think ultimately what we want to provide here is a dual career way where, you know, obviously the education side of this club is going to be very important for us, you know, and the way that the opportunities that we provide for the players in terms of the relationship with the MTU that we have, obviously the scholarships to the US program that we have, and, you know, other educational avenues that we're looking to provide for the players. So, you know, we're hoping when a young player comes in that they can use this not only to develop on the football inside, but they can develop their education as well, you know, and go on to third level education through the club. You know, and obviously see this as a long-term um, platform for themselves to be able to play at the highest level while living at home and not having to travel away, which is what players have always had to do in the past.